Good day everybody, welcome back to the studio. It is Sunday and I've already done half a day of work. I know, I work every day, but you know, this is not work for me. It's, uh, it's pleasure and things need to be done. And when you're running a business by yourself, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. Okay, so here we go. I have um, posted in my group. If you're not part of the group, please join the Facebook group. It's called uh, Fluid Art with Susanna. Uh, sorry, Fluid Art Community with Susanna Danks. So join the group. It's um, it's quite a fun group, and it's got you know lots of posts and shares and things like that. So it's a, it's a good uh, community to be involved with. So join it. Also, I've got port wine here. So this is Mother of Pearl, my absolute most favorite. Ooh, sugar. Shouldn't have gone in there, but anyway. Most favorite pigment of all time. It is so subtle and so gorgeous and so feminine. So I'm putting it in my resin right now. The resin that I'm using is Art Coat by Platinum. It's just uh, a really, really nice resin. So I'm just mixing this. Of course, you would probably just put a little bit of pigment into some uh, tiny little bit of resin and, and create a paste and then mix it really, really well and then add more resin to it. But I'm doing it this way because I'm experienced and uh, I know how to do it. But if you're a newbie, just uh, mix it in with a little bit of resin first and create a paste and then add more to it. So that was a mother of pearl. Put the lid on. I'm making a mess everywhere. Oh my goodness. Now, I've got a bit of peachy. So I'm going to add that into, I just want a little bit of peachy. Just adding it to this little bit of resin here. Actually. I do want a little bit more of that. And then this other one, I'm going to add some molten gold to it. So, let's see what I can do here. I think I've got way too much resin mixed up. That was peachy. Absolutely gorgeous as well. Bit of molten gold. And let's put in some, that, they're, they're all pigments and this is a paste. This is uh, one of my own mixes. Port wine. So it's a matte color. That is a metallic and that is a pearlescent. And maybe a little bit of like clear. Let's put some clear in there. And then maybe some of this gorgeous, gorgeous chameleon. Let's see if I can scoop it up and not make a terrible mess with that. If I can go in the middle. Maybe we can create like a little flower or something like that with it. Who knows? Who knows? You just never, never know if you don't have a go. So have a go, people. Have a go. Okay, that's enough for that. I've got a little bit more. Maybe I can use use it for something else. Let's go. Ooh, I just made it. I'm just going to drag that one over. And let's pick up the rest. And look at that. I've saved all of that beautiful pigment that I had sitting there. And I couldn't pick up because it kind of just stuck to my silicone mat there. So I've got that. Get some more. There's all these little tricks that you can do to try and save money. Sometimes I, I cringe because I see these artists just wasting stuff and it's sort of flowing all over the place and I'm like oh my god 
there's money running down there and then you have to buy another you know some more of that but anyway so anyway i was stalling a little bit there because i'm trying to think what else i'm going to do with this but i do like it just cleaning my hand a little bit let's go that way i think see how i'm getting those i'm gonna just get a little bit of clear around clear really helps make things really interesting i don't think i want to add any more let me just heat it up a little bit and loosen it up a bit So that's good. It's sort of made it soften a bit. Very interesting. Let's get some more of this gold in there. Just going to do that. I do have leftovers. I'm going to work with that. And some more of this peachy. How cute is this? So simple, so easy, and so effective. Let's. Oh, I, that is just the best. See that there? This mother of pearl is absolutely amazing. I'm actually going to get some more of that resin in my cup here and make some more. Mix some more of that mother of pearl. It just, it's just a, a stunning, stunning pigment. Very, very super feminine, you know. And I know I don't do a lot of feminine stuff, but every now and then, you know. Right, so here it is. Let's get the little container. Grab a bit of a scoop. But even, even in, look at that. Beautiful dusty pink. Stunning. Pearly dusty pink. Mother of Pearl. I couldn't have found a better name for this pigment. For real. Let's give it a little bit of a stir. I just stop it for a second. Okay, so I mixed it up now and now I just want to add some. To the bits that need some and then just use my probably my hand what I did with the canvas is I just uh, sprayed it with a little bit of alcohol you can spray it with water but I didn't want to have to wait too long so I sprayed it with alcohol because it evaporates and works quicker than using water and the reason why I do that is just to sort of stiffen the canvas up a little bit even though this is a small canvas but it can still warp so that's why I do that just spray it with a bit of alcohol on the back and then uh, let it dry and it dries super quick much quicker than water would so I'm just going to let that sort of flow down a little bit and there will be leakages alrighty let's see what else can we do Let's get some more of this gold actually what I'll do is I'm, I might just get some heat onto it and see if I can move this but I like these lines the lines are pretty cool right, so that's enough I am going to it seems to be pulling to one side so that's why I'm spinning it around and while I'm here, I might just pull this down. All the colours that's seeping, pull it down. Because this is a wide uh, stretched canvas. Okay. Now, here my hands again. Let's go with the gold.
I'm going to heat it up a bit. So I just placed this gold over my uh, heat gun stand for about a couple of seconds and look at that, nice and loose. Here we go. I just want to do some nice circles. That's beautiful. And this one, still thick, so I'll do the same thing. what I do is I just hold it above I've got a stand which holds my heat gun upright like that and I turn it on hold this above it and uh, keep it there for a couple of seconds and look at that it's done its job which is great here we go gorgeous some of this guy and uh, I might not need to heat it up I think it's okay and I think that is great but what I want to do is get some more stuff happening in the center got my little scooper here which is brilliant if you're interested in these little scoopers you can get them in the Lores shop definitely have some always think of you guys and we'll just keep building this up gently because there's it was just like nothing interesting in that circle so that's why I'm adding some interest I'd actually add some more mother of pearl in there like that look at that gorgeous absolutely stunning all right so to me that is finished i really don't want to mess with it too much i really feel like getting in there with you know spreading it all around with the, my palette knife and that but i think i'm just want to i just want to leave it like that and i think i do need to use my torch to bust the bubbles because there's a few of them around Okay, so I used my torch not only to bust the bubbles but to also create some effect and uh, there's definitely a lot of interesting things going on there I really love it and I love that um, the combination of that um, port wine and the mother of pearl look at what it's created some really really pretty effects however I do have an area here that I want to fix and that's what I'm going to do beautiful and that is it I'm not going to do any more to it I do need some more over here of this beautiful gorgeous mother of pearl this pigment is just stunning and my friend Yvette loves it too and she creates some really really nice nice pieces you should look up her um, YouTube channel oh what I did that was not planned okay so that's what we're gonna leave it at I do want to sort of do this just to color the sides 
pull that color down. Some of the colors are really, really stunning. Turn it around and do the same. Just go down to just make sure that they're all covered. And that is done. I'll leave it at that and I will bring you back when it's all sort of set up and everything. I'm going to do another piece now because I have some resin left. So let's get crack a -lackin'. Done. Video off.